guys welcome to the second part of the java essential training series so this video is about java history i'm going to give you a little bit of introduction about java who created java and what are the versions available in java right so before we get into the video i want to say subscribe to the channel to support me and if you like this information give this video a thumbs up you can follow me on twitter as well at oasemirza01 so that's being said let's get started Java has a long history. It started in 1991 when Sun Microsystems began something called the Green Project. The goal was to create a new portable programming language that could create applications and could run on multiple operating systems without having to be recompiled or ported. The original name of the language was Org. By the time the language was released, it was renamed Java, supposedly because of the amount of coffee that the developers were drinking. Java was first released to the public in 1995. The phrase, write once, run everywhere, was popularized. Again, the goal of Java was that would be able to write a program and would be able to compile it once and then run it on Unix, Solaris, Windows, Mac, and any other operating system for which there was a Java virtual machine available. In 1996, Sun released the first complete Java developer kit or JDK supporting a broad range of application development tasks. Version 1.1 the following year saw improvement to the object-oriented nature of Java. With inner classes and Java Beans, the JDBC API for talking to databases, RMI or remote method invocation for a distribution system, and reflection for improving the dynamic capabilities of the language. In 1998, Java was rebranded as Java 2 SC or Java 2 Standard Edition. The Standard Edition's moniker distinguished it from Enterprise Edition which was the framework for building large-scale web applications. The version number was Java 2, version 1.2, a little confusing, and the 2 after the J stuck around for many years, but the version were incremented using point numbers 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 and so on. Java 2 SC 1.2 included the Swing graphical API for building desktop application, the collection framework for managing multiple data elements, a new tool including just-in-time compiler and the browser-based Java plugins to standardize the version of Java across the web. A couple of years later, Java 2 SC 1.3 added new tool including the Hotspot JVM, a new version of Java Virtual Machine, the Sound API and improved debugging. In 2002, version 1.4 added new tool in the language. And then 2004, a major milestone, Java 2 SC 5.0 was released, known internally as Java 1.5. From this point forward, Java would be known as Java 5, Java 6, Java 7, Java 8, and so on. In terms of core language syntax, this was the last major change. Everything else has been incremental. Features that you could choose to choose or not to use, depending on the kind of programming you were doing. In 2006, Java 6 appeared. It improved performance for database connectivity, improved graphical programming, and added other small features to the language. From 2006 to 2010, Sun Microsystem released occasional maintenance releases, and so you would have Java 6 maintenance release 10, 11, 12, and so on. But it took four years until a new major version came out, and then in 2010, Oracle bought Sun Microsystem and all of its assets, including the Java programming language, Oracle Corporations now manages Java, along with JCP, the Java community process, the sun begins, and after Oracle purchased Java. The pace of change increased again. In 2011, we got J2 SC7. It included significant new syntax changes. The most recent version as of time of this recording was released in 2016. Java SC8 implemented Lambda expressions, a new date and time API, and other syntax improvement, and we are expecting another version of Java down the road. Java SC9 is currently planned for release in September 2016. According to the current plan, it will implement a modularization of the Java runtime libraries, and at one point it included a plan for a new lightweight JSON API. But doubts come into question, we won't know for sure what's going to be in Java SE9 until about 6 months before its final release. 
But for now, Java SE 8 is the most recent major version of Java for everything except Android development. For Android development, you will want to look into features of Java 6 and Java 7. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like the information, make sure to subscribe and hit down that thumbs up button. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.